A big part about having a front-end router is that we can't just use normal A tags anymore if we want to link between our pages and then also prevent a, uh, a screen refresh. Uh, we're going to want to use a link tag provided to us by uh, uRouter. Now, in the end, it's going to compile into a real A tag for debugging purposes and actually just execution in the browser. But uh, we need, you know, this this special link tag is going to um, basically tell the browser, okay, this is part of the router. Just go there directly. Don't don't trigger a refresh. Uh, and the router part of the documentation. So I'm still here on this page. Uh, Part of navigation here, they tell you where to find link. So link is part of the um, the prelude. We don't need to worry about that, and we can use it thusly. Um, let's go ahead and just get this set up. I want to create a link from home to hello. We're going to use something else for going back from hello to home. Uh, so let's start by coming over here. Let's find our page home. Um, and we're gonna want that. Uh, we're gonna want that link tag, which means we need the U router prelude. Okay, uh, we have that. Now we should be able to use this uh, link. Now I do notice we also need this route. So let's bring that in too. So this is part of router and route. Um, okay, so route home, that's gonna be fine. Everything else we should have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Uh, we're gonna need, we can only have a single tag as part of the root of an HTML, um, any kind of component. So we're gonna add in a div here. I'll leave that as the top one, and we can put another div um, just so that it's uh, uh, on the next line down. And we'll put our link tag in here. Let's go ahead and make these nice and indented. All right, so here's going to be our link. Let's go ahead and save you first. All right, so we have link tag. Uh, pass in the route type that enum. Uh, we need. We're telling it to go, go to home. Well, we're at home, so I need to go to hello. Uh, what it's going to, um, what it's going to state here. So I just want to say to hello, and then close the link tag, which also takes the same type, so it it's aware of what that is. If I save that and we head back here, we can now see uh, it's maybe a little bit hard to read. Um, it's a, it's you know got that purple like we've already clicked it link color. It's just basically a normal a tag. We can actually see that if we open up the inspector and inspect this, it's just a normal a tag that goes to slash hello. Easy enough. If I click this we instantaneously change to hello here and uh, we're in the, the slash hello route. Um, no refresh happened. To prove that, you can go into our console and just type a bunch of stuff here. And uh, I don't have the preserved logs on because uh, if I hit refresh, that all goes away. Uh, that's a, that is a filter. Um, I want this to stay on here. I click on to hello, and we're on hello with no page refresh happening. That is uh, that is how we're gonna create simple links, uh, basically A tags, um, and have them just sort of appear wherever we want. The nice thing is because they're A tags, they can be styled as such. Um, so just things to be aware of, as long as they're inside of the component, you can use stylus to, uh, um, to, to style them. And uh, just remember that they will be A tags in the end. So you could just 
select them with an A. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!